Chicka Chicka Bow Wow. Low Rider S for Moonshine Harley Davidson, Moonshine Horsepower. On the 135 cubic inch M8 MHP Double Runner, you got our monster heads. These have the square ports in them with the plus 2.5 millimeter oversized valves we run. It's got the monster manifold, which pairs up to that square ported head. And this bike got built with the Harley Davidson 64 millimeter throttle body. To finish up the throttle body, we have an air cleaner from Harley Davidson as well. Custom painted by Boosted Brad at Death Metal Racing. It is the extreme ventilator. These extreme ventilators flow all the air these big cubic inch motors need because of the front. Once you open up the front and you allow the throttle body to suck air directly across from it, it gives it all the air it needs. Really nice setup, and of course, when Harley Davidson comes out with it, it's engineered, fit and finish is really nice. The exhaust on this bike is a custom pair of feelings they do for us. It has the feeling anti-reversion chambers up top. It's got the muffler with the patented dog ball baffle system in it. It allows it to be calmer at idle. When you snap the throttle, it barks and it's very snappy riding. The dog ball baffle paired with the anti-reversion chambers make it very responsive all the way through the RPMs. The dyno sheet is one part of the build, but how the bike feels when you're riding it, when you crack the throttle, is a completely different setup. And these exhaust systems really make a difference. Custom pair of MHP pistons. It has a 7cc dome on it to get the compression we need for that late closing 550 cam to make the power and it, it just comes up on torque real quick. It makes almost max torque at 3,600 RPMs, which is about 150. It maxes out 152 foot-pounds of torque. And then the horsepower crosses torque at, you know, 5,250 and just sinks straight up to 162. And it holds 160 plus horsepower past 7,000 RPMs. The fairing is a Memphis Shades Road Warrior tucked behind the fairing is your Plex Audio setup. Stock Harley Davidson fork with a pair of Legends drop-in cartridges. Custom stainless steel brake lines all the way down. Underneath the lower triple tree, we have a custom block. And the custom block mounts up just like Harley, so when you turn the handlebars, your block is staying still. That way, it is designed just like the factory wanted it, where the lines aren't moving with the front end. When we come down to the brakes, we have a pair of radial mounted Behringers. The rotors measure 320 millimeters, full floating rotor setup, stainless steel disc. This one is a touring front wheel. We had to have custom radial to axial brake mounts made with custom spacers to get the touring VST wheel to fit on the bike. And of course, the Bridgestone H50s, we love them. It's on this bike. Handlebars, just like we normally do, it is a Kraus setup. So these have a kickback. It is a 10 inch kickback with the Fly Racing handlebar. So it's 12.5 total inches of rise from your top triple tree. Your isolators are moved right below your handlebars. That way you don't have all the flex. They are hard mounted on the triple tree. This setup is unique. It's not something we're gonna do a lot, but we have installed the touring gauges and the touring uh, bezel from Krauss Moto on the handlebar setup. So we have two gauges up top. We just like how the two gauges look like. To finish off the handlebar setup, we have the performance machine grips. We like these because they're a little narrower. We've talked about this in a lot of the other videos. It just doesn't pull on the inside of your thumb. So when you're riding, sometimes this will get fatigued when you're riding with a fatter grip, especially if you have a glove on. These, when you have a glove on, feels like a factory grip instead of feeling so bulky. So we like the thinner grips. The performance machine are nice because, check this out, Renthal. Renthal rubbers right there. You can get just the replacement rubbers as these guys wear out. Not the easiest guy to put on, but it's really nice once you have the grip, you're only replacing the rubbers later down the road as you get a little wear and tear on the unit. Gas tank. You notice there's no console, there's no lines, there's no seams, there's no anything. We worked with 
Boosted Brad at Death Metal Racing. He did the paint on this bike. Awesome paint job. Owner picked out the color scheme. We have the flush amount of gas caps. Right from Harley, installed on her. It just cleans up the whole bike when you relocate your gauges. So since the new soft tails have a, a mono shock, one shock, this guy got the Owens fully decked out. They've done a, a good job with how the compression mounts. So you have your compression adjustment right here, mounted to the side of the bike. The line runs underneath to the shock. Under the seat, you have your preload. So you can preload this spring. Since it is one shock handling the whole bike, look at the diameter of that spring. It's a big boy. We're not playing around. Adjustment right here for your rebound. And this is a length adjustment. You have some adjustability. If you get this shock for your bike, there is a limit of how much you can adjust. And Olin's actually has a line in the threads, the very lower part of the shock. Make sure you don't go by that. Read the manual. Go per the specifications set from Olin's. But Rebound adjustments right here, faster, slower. On the right hand side, you got stiffer, softer. As we go to the rear of the bike, of course we've done custom brake lines. We measure them, we take our time and we do them. So that is a smoked stainless steel braided line. It wraps over just like the factory line would run. Paired up to a radial rear Behringer caliper and the Krauss Moto radial brake adapter for a soft tail on a full floating rotor. And of course on the rear of this guy, you have the Blackstone Tech, the Twin Tech BST wheel. So we're running a 17 wheel on the rear and we are running the 19 front rim. So this setup, 17 rear with a 19 front. The 17 gives you a little more sidewall and a lot more grip. Anytime we're doing something for track, we're going down to a 17 inch rear rim. Turk signals on the rear, or Joker machine, and the tag bracket is custom dynamics as well. A pair of drag specialties, front turn signals, back cut transmission. We have a recluse clutch basket with a recluse torque drive clutch, a stock primary chain tensioner paired with the Moonshine Horsepower, Comp of Power Smooth, which is an aftermarket comp ramp we have that works with a factory compensator. This motor, since it is a soft tail, we kept the original balancers in it. It is a factory flywheel that's built with krill rods. We removed some weight and knife edge the factory flywheel to reduce the rotating mass in it, but we have to keep the balancers. One of the reasons we have to keep the balancers in the bike is because the motor is mounted in the chassis with no motor mounts. So right here, this guy is metal to metal. There's no motor mount, so if we remove the balancers, it rattles the gas caps. It'll rattle your gas tank where the rubber isolators get worn out, so we don't debalance soft tails unless it's track only. So on this guy, we left the front and the rear balancer in. We removed as much weight from the flywheel as we felt comfortable doing while keeping the balancers in. That way we reduce some of the rotating mass, but it's balanced really nice and smooth. We are running a Ward 550 camshaft in this bike. It made over 160 horsepower, over 150 foot-pounds of torque. Just a monster of a soft tail. I mean, second gear, third gear, you hammer it, it is pulling the front end off the ground. Fun bike to ride, does everything very well. Handles the track, stock belt on her, awesome to rip on the street. The Moonshine Harley Davidson, Moonshine Horsepower, Low Rider Hulk build, 135 cubic inch M8 Devil Runner. Beast. If you're looking for a build or would like to get in contact with us, the easiest way to do it is to go to our website. Type in moonshineharley.com. Once again, moonshineharley.com. Go to our homepage. On the homepage, there's tabs at the top of the screen. The one in the middle says Performance Shop. When you highlight Performance Shop, a drop down will pop up. Click on the Moonshine Horsepower button. 
Basically, what we need to know is how to contact you. You need to fill out your name, your phone number, and then the bike. The more info you put on here, the more prepared we are when we call you. Your current engine, current parts on the bike, because we want to know what we can continue to use in the build you're looking for, or if you need everything. Um, what parts are going to be friendly to the build you're looking for. And then building goals, what are you looking for? What do you want us to accomplish with your bike? Put it in there. Also put the time frame, first available, you're three, four months out. Let us know how quickly you would like us to get to your build. And then hit that submit button, someone from our horsepower team will call you back. So it'll either be Aaron, Nick, myself, Jamie, or maybe MVO, Michael Van Orden. One of us four will call you back. Our schedule is Tuesday through Saturday. All the horsepower guys, Tuesday through Saturday. The shop is open seven days a week. And typically when you fill one of these out, it can be anywhere from 30 minutes to 48 hours to get back in contact with you, but we will. We appreciate the support. Please, if you haven't already, go to the subscribe button, click that guy. Also, you might wanna click on the bell for notifications. Let's you know when we have a live event coming up on YouTube. Also lets you know when we're about to drop a brand new video. We appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for all the support. Have a good one.